We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is embrace your destiny. I am your host, Bubby McSquiggums, and I'm excited, folks. We get to start up our coverage of Miasma Chronicles. It is by the Bearded Ladies and 505 Games, releasing on May 23rd, 2023. A big shout out and a thank you to the Bearded Ladies and 505 Games for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and I am incredibly grateful. So thank you very much. I do truly appreciate it. Now, for those of you who do not know what this game is, uh, you may not be alone in that case, because I had no idea this was coming. I was shocked to see this was on its way, and I'm like, <gasps> I found out like literally a day before maybe uh, the game actually launched, and I was like scrambling and scrambling. Anyway, they accommodated me, and it's much appreciated. It's above and beyond what they had to do, and I'm grateful, as I had already said, but truly, truly I am. So thank you for the, the extra bit of love there. Uh, if you guys remember Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, this is from the same folks that brought us that game. So it's going to be kind of like a real-time exploration game mixed with tactical turn-based combat a la something along the lines of XCOM as far as the combat goes or very much like Mutant Year Zero. The atmosphere, the world, everything looks incredible. I like. I have no idea how this was not on my radar from the very first second it was mentioned. I, I don't know. Usually I see stuff way ahead of time. So this is uh, great that I saw it in time. And uh, really, really cool that I actually got my hands on it and we're ready to dive in. So let me shut up. Let's begin our adventure. All right. Looks like we got some uh, difficileness, some difficulty here. We have uh, the narrative side of things. Uh, for players who want to experience the world and story without too much of a challenge, you recover 100% of hit points post-combat. Okay. Enemies deal less damage and have less hit points. Or at least most. Most do. Standard probably what I'm going to play on, but we'll see. For those who play these type of games regularly but are new to tactical genre, or sorry, games regularly new to tactical genre, this is the recommended difficulty for most players. Then we have challenging. For more experienced players of tactical games, you recover 25% of hit points post-combat. Most enemies deal more damage. Most enemies have more hit points. And then finally, the alpha editor. An extreme challenge for even very experienced players. Some base rules as challenge, or same base rules as challenging difficulty with the additional modifiers applied. Manual save games are disabled. Okay, unconscious heroes won't re recover in combat, and difficulty cannot be changed in game. So if you want the ultimate challenge, you got it right there, folks. I'm torn. I think I'm still gonna go normal. I may regret this. It does say difficulty can be changed. I don't know if we can go up. Usually, in the case of most games, if you set the difficulty, you can usually lower it, but not raise it. I'm still going to go with normal. It's, again, I, I always like playing the game how the developers generally intend you to experience the game. So I always like starting with normal, unless it's like, I've played 100,000 types of these games, and I have played a lot of this kind of game in some capacity. Uh, it'd be like me playing the HOM series in HOM 7. I found out very quickly that uh, the game was pretty easy by comparison. So I upped the difficulty in that one for a lot of the maps. And then in this case, yeah, anyway, normal. We're going normal. All right, we have light tactical. Hit chances for weapons are more predictable. Flanking enemies is always a guaranteed hit. Covers always grant the same bonuses. And yeah, that's regardless of distance. Full tactical would be a less predictable experience with more tension. Chances to hit in combat are much less reliable, both for you and your enemies. Oh my god, I can control RNG. Why would you give me this choice? Why give me this power? I had to go full tactical, but man, that sounds great. Light tactical sounds glorious. It sounds so good. Oh, I want it. Alright, alright, we're going full tactical. Oh, man. Oh... Oh, it doesn't feel good. You know how RNG and I don't get along? I, I mean, I love it, but uh, it hates me, so... It's definitely a love and hate relationship. Alright, Chronicle 1. Somewhere in Kentucky, 140 years after the collapse of the Great Stability.
I can do this. I can do this. Hey, remember your training. Keep her straight. Keep her level. Don't do any hand jazz. Yeah, Diggs. Got it. You sure? She breaks above 100, so don't... Diggs, the glove's reading my brain waves. I gotta keep my mind blank. Oh, right, right. Breaking through a giant miasma wall. Don't need me yapping. <laughs> tries is that 37 better get started on 38 uh, how you think 38 is going to be different than 37 mama gave me this glove for a reason as long as she's on the other side of this wall yeah 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 we ain't quitting we'll find a little brother we'll find her Wow, that was pretty cool. And here My we are. kicking up. Let's get back to town. Fix this glove. All right. And welcome to the world of Miasma Craft, I guess. I don't know. All right. So we can investigate Can't this. Can't get through the wall with a broken glove. We could. Couldn't we eat our way through the wall? It looks like black licorice, and some crazy people like that. I mean, I'm not one of them, but maybe he is. Oh, C brings up the party screen. The party screen shows the current status of the heroes in your party. Within this screen, you can equip and modify weapons, items, and miasma powers. You can also open each hero's skill deck. Later in the game, you'll be able to swap out party members. Cool. Looks like we got some uh, DK-150 assault rifles, probably. It's a little small rifles, but the rifles, most likely. Then we have the backpack screen. This is your party's backpack. It's a shared inventory which shows everything in the party or that the party is carrying. Whilst this is mostly used for informational purposes, you can use some consumables such as metapods from within this screen. Cool. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna move around. So you hold shift to run. I, there's there's a way to sneak. R to use the map pulse. Uh, here's the quickest way home. Ah. All right, that's cool. I just kind of want to. I just kind of want to drink in the the entirety of like what's going on around us here. So this miasma stuff is kind of corrupted or dissolved or stuck to various different vehicles. This is clearly some sort of futuristic world, or just a world with very... Oh, what's, what's this floaty stuff here? Um, with very different cars, but still police. 100% recycled sugar. Try it. Taste it. Love it. How did they recycle the sugar? Is that something I even want to know? This looks really good. Pick up. Plastic. Sweet. How about we take a look around? Some good loot in these parts. Oh. Well, I mean, that's cool for me. Huh. 
Okay, you left click to actually go into sneaky sneak mode. And left click again to get out of it. Interesting. We got another pickup over here. Let's reach in through the side. Plastic. I'm I, I have to imagine that stuff's not good to breathe. Ah, we're in the US. Good old Detroit. Cool. There's Knoxville. It did say in Kentucky somewhere. So I suppose I should have known this was uh, the old uh, the old state of the United. Deeks, look. And my asthma sure is angry. Swirling like a whirlpool. Beautiful. Don't go near it. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look good at all, does it? Ooh. Oh, these guys are just kind of, they saw the beautiful whirlpool and, well, you see kind of how their fate transpired. The whole world kind of changes color as we get close to it. It It is uh, kind of pointing us in that direction though, isn't it? All right, well. There's bound to be some more treasure loot to be had if we continue to look around. Oh, this is the mandatory evacuation notice. Uh huh. Barry is still active. We can't get through here. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it, Diggs? Come on, give me at least one more piece of treasure loot. No more pieces of treasure loot. Ah, oh, well. I suppose it's time for us to head on out. This doesn't look super safe either. Alright. Great stability. Or a great stability. I humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. We have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divided us, and put an end to hunger and war. A renaissance for humankind. A great stability. Now, let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. That's never going to go over well, man. Your family is our family. Gotta find Mama. Sick of being alone. Just want some family. Come on, Diggs. What? You got your family right here. Me. Yeah, but Diggs, you're a... Oh, what? Uh... <sighs> Kick-ass brother. Best brother I could ever have. Ha! <laughs> you know it. Yeah, you do. Uh-huh. All right, there's stuff in there. We need a bank security pass. They're not going to let me reach the wall this time. Maybe I have super long arms I can reach over this wall. Nope. Okay. Hmm. The bathroom seems to be out of order. It's kind of creepy seeing the people like frozen in place. I got hit with the miasma. Some more plastique. Your family is our family. Oh, up to the next floor. Wants us to keep going. I want to keep exploring. Oh, a business meeting gone this wrong. Some meeting. Yikes. Yeah, no kidding. Peace forever. Consider for a moment a world without want, a world without war. Fifteen years ago, this was only a dream. Now, this is our reality. 
a renaissance for humankind. We call it the Great Stability. We are truly blessed to live in this age. Well... Hey, the bank security pass. Sweet. A key card with Bank of New America. Uh, New America. Written uh, in printed text. Safe house has been hand scratched onto the surface. Sweet. It's like we're going back downstairs after all, boys. Let's uh, rush through the rest of this area. Pick up a little bit more plastic as it were. I believe that's pretty much everything. And oh, can we not go down that way? I guess not. Oh, there wasn't everything. See, I missed some voicemail stuff. A reconstructed voicemail. Jen, Jen, you there? It's Tommy. Hope to hell you get this message in time. I got the kids. We're shaking up, but doing okay. Annie's asking where mommy is. I'm telling her you're coming soon, and uh, Max is completely obsessed with his toys, so good call on those. Listen, don't come to the bridge. Police are blocking the roads because, well, th there are no roads. Meet me back at your uncle's place. Kids are safe. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, just one more thing. I need you... Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Alright, so did this cave in? Because we came from down there, didn't we? Or did we come from somewhere else? We didn't come from somewhere else, did we? Oh wait, how did I... I'm so confused. It's fine, I guess. Holding out. I feel like we're back on the floor below when I don't remember... I... Something's wrong with my brain, I suppose. Holding out. Uh, Found a decent spot to hold up. Working security at the door. Nice view of the city. Should be safe from the collectors until I make a run for the scar. And it's just a game of waiting for the... Re then it's just a game of waiting for the rest of the editors. Uh-huh. If they make it, only time will tell. Well, it doesn't seem like a lot of folks have made it. Don't see this every day. Range, buddy. Extends weapon range by 20%. Weapon mods can be attached to any weapons in the upgrade screen. A budget scope for, from Dormart's uh, tactical home security range. Despite age and its exterior condition, it's still going strong and will have you or will give you a reasonable range boost when applied to a weapon. A faded promotional label reads, "Great against porch pirates." Oh, cool weapon mods. You can attach weapon mods via the party screen by selecting a weapon and then pressing the modify button. Got it. And some more plastique. All right, well, let's let's do that. I mean, I suppose. We hit Y to modify. We add the range on it, and I guess that's that's it. We have our scope. We we have improved range. All right. Oh, did I, did I come back here and I just went down here and didn't even notice? Oh, that must have been what it was. Yeah, yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. Uh, go me. Such smooth transitions, though, between floors and stuff. See, I didn't even notice that I was down on the lower floor initially. Save us. Well. 
It's definitely the way we gotta go. What a what a creepy uh, type of apocalypse. A perfect world. Uh, Edison's technology has opened the door to a world without hunger. Our food production has become greener than ever. Insect farms absorbing CO2, seaweed beds eating and digesting microplastics, and AU farms in hostile climates. Welcome to the age of unlimited. Those all sound like good things. To be honest. All right, let's get to hustling. Man, what a what an incredible, incredibly beautifully built. I mean, horribly tragic too, but what an incredibly beautifully built world. So much detail, so much time and energy put into this. This looks great. No! Uh oh. My baby! My baby! Oh, here we go. We're about to get into combat. I see it, but I don't believe it. What are those Oh things? my goodness. Uh, frogs. Frogs walking frogs. on two legs murdering people. Those are not animals. <laughs> not people neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they Tell doing with... Wait. Hold on. That's the Vodder family. Please! Don't do it! No! No, no. Don't no. do it. Okay, we maybe we should have stepped up. That was the Vodger family. Thanks, Diggs. We gotta deal with these assholes. We don't fight anything we don't understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We about to throw down. Yeah. Oh, apparently we're in combat immediately. Diggs, these things are freaking huge. Hey, you want to get back to town? Pull that trigger. Tiger tough. Come on. Get Tonka tough. All right. Combat and action points. Okay. Combat is turn-based, as it should be. At the start of each turn, you get two. Two action points per hero. Okay. I can shoot the enemy. Or I could shoot the enemy. Tadpole scouts. That's great. All right, uh, I have a 92% chance to hit that one, 98% chance to hit the other. This one with a, they're both with 15% chance to crit. I'm gonna take that shot. Uh, we're definitely gonna, yeah, 78%, let's hope it works. Get it done. All right, the frogman's going. He's in cover. He arrowed the wall. It's stuck in the wall. It's still there. Cover. Partial cover. Shoot him anyway. You might get lucky. Well, nah, luck never liked me that much. I, I feel you, Elvis. Enemies of partial cover give you a 35% chance penalty on a shooting them. Okay. Enemies of full cover give you a 75% chance penalty on shooting them. Covers are only effective from the front, so you can flank them, of course. Alright, I guess we're taking the shot. Almost dang close. Uh I guess I should just take the shot, though it seems like a really bad chance. It, well, it just it's what it wants. Don't move. I did hit him. What was that? Oh, he he running now. Behind full cover, are we gonna get hit? Nope. Four shot. One left. But now he's behind full cover. Easy. Can't get a clean shot. Let's flank the bastard. Hit him from the side. Yeah. Move to the side or behind an enemy cover. To flank him. Flank an enemy gives you a 0% hit chance penalty. Sniper rifles have a higher hit chance at a at long range, while assault rifles at short range. Got it? 
The hit chance of bouncers and shotguns are unaffected by range. Okay. How do I... How do I rotate? Ah, it tells me right there. Okay, cool. Yep, that's exactly where I was already planning to move to. Good thing the uh, tutorial and I think alike in this case. Alright, and we switch over to two. And we shoot. Now, I'm curious as to, does it require us to have two points to shoot or just one? And can we take two shots? Because before, we were just taking a single shot, and it was using both of our AP. Huh. Got him. You alive? Yeah, I think so. You? Rocking and rolling. We made these boys extinct. I don't think so. Uh, there's Look. more. Find some cover when the time's right. Flank them. Yeah. Oh, the, the tadpole scouts are coming. Use cover to avoid getting hit by enemy fire. The same rules apply for your squad as the enemy. Yep, makes sense. I think we just go for cover right away. We have his half cover laying around. Not great for us. could move again, and I think I will. Now, if I move there, I have a pretty good chance to hit you, but I'll just put myself into serious danger. So I think moving over here, it's a bold play, but I think it works. Assuming the enemy doesn't flank me over here, which is very... Yeah, real possibility. Those are uh, some good moves there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can just take them out. You know, I might be able to just take him out. Go under half cover here, and we're going to take a shot on him. Now, I'm planning to have you... What kind of range do you... Uh, See, that's, that's one of the things that I, I need to know. How far... Oh, no. He can't shoot as far as I thought he could. Oh. He'd have to get all the way here to... Oh, that's unfortunate. But maybe... Oh, he's outside the zone. That's not great. Well, I guess we're taking our shot here. Oh, we hit him. Alright, let's see if he just detach he is. Yeah. Damn it! I did rely on getting to, to double down on the individual. Um Let's just hang out next to him. Hello, like, what's going on, buddy? Um, hopefully I don't miss this. <laughs> well. Got a little bit banged up there. That wasn't too, too bad. Oh. You hear that? More frogs looking for their buddies. And we just killed their buddies. We gotta get back to town, now! 
Oh, yeah, we do. Investigate here. I hate seeing the Vader family rotten out here. Damn frog monsters! Is this some sick joke? Watch your anger, Elvis. We should go. We should go. We gotta get these bodies back home. No? Yeah, we'll come back later. It's fair. Alright, guys, gals, ladies, and gentlemen. I think that's gonna do it for our very first episode. We're definitely gonna be coming back to this. We're definitely gonna be playing this more. Ah, I can't wait. Such a such a cool world. Such a cool story. Um and we're, we've just scratched the surface. Ah, it looks it looks incredible. And of course, you guys know, I, I has me a love of tactical turn-based combat, so we're here for it. Anyway, folks, the, the game, once again, is called the Miasma Chronicles. It's by the folks that brought us Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. And it's just, it's incredible. Highly recommend you check it out. Uh, big shout out and thank you once again to the Bearded Ladies and 505 Games for giving me a code for this. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, or any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there will be various links. I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>